So you wanna be a G boy, eh? But you're just a little, little boy. You wanna be a G boy, eh? But you say a little boy, eh, 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 eh. eh. <laughs> and baby, they call me boy. Say hello when you see me outside. Welcome to my channel. What go on and that? What go on for that? What go on everything? You get me? What go on? It's your girl, you be George. How you doing? How you doing, baby? How you doing? Okay, my name is Yudi George. I am an Irish YouTuber. Question, say, sanctified, purified, and all of that. Yeah? I say, by the blood, but I'm not a gang member. Hey, come on. Hey, hey. Okay, I feel myself a bit too much. Today was literally amazing. I had a great time today and I'm back home. I had my photo shoot in there. You know? And um yeah. I'm here to shoot this video. So this is gonna be a quick one. It's called Living La Vinda Locate. Doing the illegal stuff. Being a G boy. You wanna do fraud? Really? Really? You thought about your future? Uh, what if you get caught and you end up in prison? Or are you just restricted from living your best life legally because you did some stupid things? You see, like, I just feel like fraud and everything has just escalated in the past couple of years. Like, so many young ones, like, you would think back in the day, it used to be like, you know, um, probably, I don't know, depends on the country, right? But, like, older, older guys. Um, or like you know guys you get me guys that you know like out of uni and they haven't got any job this is like back home in Nigeria that I'm thinking about he's got it yahoo yahoo now it's like with different types he's no longer yahoo yahoo again he's now cc dc different types and I'm just like you now you have to be careful everywhere anyhow any day anytime like you can't even literally and it's just so sad it's like why do you want to live a fake life? And it's so sad because this is so um, prominent in the lives of like young guys. Like, I'm talking about teenagers now. I didn't food. Why? Why are you doing food? Like it's just. I know obviously everyone wants to live in Instagram. Like, like I want to work on the CR guys, one guys in G. You know you're gonna want to want to show up, pop champagne. And the sad thing about this food life is that when you actually get the money, you can't do it. You must spend it because. It mustn't be seen in your account. Like, you, you can't stay in your account. You have to, you have to withdraw and spend. It is so sad. I think it's like now, pushing Ireland, things have changed in terms that like banks are a lot more like on your case and stuff. If there's a questionable amount of money in your account, just like that, you know. And it's just so, especially when there's no like. Um, there's no identifiable source, like there's no confirmable source saying like okay, whatever, or the account is what has a question has some question marks and then you're left in deficit. And I just seen so many stupid people, like I mean and it's so sad because the ones that actually do this fraud are the same ones that will go into the nightclub and spend all the money, for all the champagne, have all the girls running after them, but they don't have credit in the phone. Or they don't even have any properties, you can say, Okay, at least it paid off. Above properties, you can't even try that in this country because they will they will find you. Like literally, like even Nigeria as well. Like now, obviously, like there's a lot of you know anti crime, anti corruption, whatever, EFCC and that. You check in and because you know, like the thing about fraudulent people is that they don't live quiet lives. They do the fraud and they do living large and they spending money. Like recently as well, some guy I think he's into Tumba Lagos or something like that. He was literally like he's literally like an Instagram philanthropist and he's always, you know, leaving the loving the locates, you know. He's like literally, you know, Paris today, Dubai tomorrow. And then you know they, they always take pictures and they show off all their designer or they stand in front of Louis Vuitton or they stand in front of uh, Gucci, Gucci store and then they take a picture, you know the usual ones. I mean like they're not for a scripture. Uh, Press the table for me in the presence of my enemies, or um, ah, the lines are falling for me in presence of things I have a good heritage, or what's the usual one? I am blessed. I am blessed. 
I'm prosperous in all things. I'm an, if you have the sin to get it, it is not a blessing. Remember that. Like, I, it just blows my mind, you know? And then, look at, and then you see people that are actually working so hard trying to keep up with these type of people and they don't realize that, wait, something is not adding up. Because, don't get me wrong, God can bless anybody at any time, anyway. But trust me, if you have to cause people anguish just to be blessed, that's my blessing. But somebody, that's someone's sweat, someone's someone's life savings, someone's life earnings that they've saved and put aside for, for business or whatever that you dupe them out of, collect it, and then buy stupid shoes. Shoes. You know, like, oh, I, I, there's this picture I just saw, oh my god, I can't, oh god. Like, literally, this guy, literally, like, he's like, oh, take, like, he told probably to his friend, like, oh, take me a picture when I'm walking away. And like, you now see the, the red buttons on the lady, like, oh, and then they'll be like, eh. When I put the Bible scripture, you know, where I the soul of my feet to it, so shall I possess. You know those things, and it's just like, why are you dragging God into your mess? Like, can you not just do your nonsense and leave God out of it, you know? It's just so sad. I just I just feel sorry for people that are literally so um, Instagram, you know, conscious and trying to live the live the life for people, living a fake life. I feel sorry for them because like it's a lot of work. It's literally a full time job like, trying to keep up appearances. You know, it's so sad. I don't even really know why people bother. Like, there's one thing like I remember in the last video I was talking about comparison being a thief of joy I really and truly if you comparison is also a thief of peace especially if you're comparing and trying to match up with other people and trying to live life to compare with other people that like you don't even know the source of their income you don't know what they do like even there's so many females that I've actually come across on Instagram you know obviously after being exposed and stuff on blogs and things like that but like literally would have sugar daddy for you know paying for all the expensive trips the one I do on holiday and oh I'm going here I'm going there I'm going there and like that you know someone that goes on 10 or 12 vacations a year you know and it doesn't make any sense and not they're not even going on like they're not even going on like you know just simple cheap vacation they're going on proper like five star mega mega rich and they're not from a rich home even your even your salary i mean by the time you pay rent you pay everything how much do you even have left you know living like in that look at and then when i find out that you know your room somebody else's grandfather why why your sister why you are spending somebody else's school fees you are spending somebody's grandfather's money Pamela wife. And literally, you see all these other ones as well that we do not look at or something, and they're dating a fraudulent boy, a G boy, a CC boy, you know, and then they'll be flaunting and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to get the best Chanel, and we say, oh, you know, my, my diamonds. I'm just like, one day, one day, yeah. And then we say, in Nigeria, what can we go back and more come back? It said 99 days for the thief, one day for the owner. So literally, I mean, you can be living life on La Vida Local on the fast lane, but one day it's gonna catch up with you. And what are you gonna be saying on the other side of the prison? Oh snap! <laughs> so that was actually shady. <laughs> but I know shade to you. If you like the sugar daddy lifestyle, do you? At the end of the day, you are going to be accountable for whatever you do, okay? I'm just going to tell you, like, you know, it might, but if you want to keep doing whatever, it's your life, okay? And also, if you keep, you know, following fraudulent boys and you're living like in their local popping, champagne, popping, dog perio, everything, 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 you know? Penny for the road. That's okay. One day, one day, the beds are going to come for you. What are you gonna say? You know? No? And this, you know, I don't know, man. It's just so sad. Like, if you know anyone that's actually doing this, please be a good friend and share them. Just send them this video. Or be a good friend and speak to them. You can't be doing this. It's 2018. The feds are coming. They are coming. And when they cash you, they're gonna be on the other side of the prison door. 
to be a nice boy. I wouldn't know, but you know, think about it. Well, I love you. Thank you. I'm gonna say good night. Moral of the story: Don't do Yahoo Yahoo. Don't do fraud. And don't try and leave that in that look at on Instagram because why? You will get tired. Don't try and keep up with social media. But I let social media try and keep up with. See you guys in the next video. Okay.